A widow who lost her husband to post-traumatic stress disorder says Fort Logan National Cemetery has now righted a wrong. Her husband's tombstone had the wrong information on it until now. Michael Beta sorts everything out. It does look better. On a rainy Colorado afternoon, Kimberly V. Hill is doing something she didn't think she would ever be able to do. I thought it was going to be a bigger battle. I thought we were going to go a little further than just the news. She's visiting her husband Elias's final resting place at Fort Logan National Cemetery. I got flowers and I sat here for about two hours and it, I didn't think I would be able to do it, but it looks right. It feels right. Kimberly's husband Elias V. Hill was a Marine who did a tour in Kuwait during Operation Iraqi Freedom. Like so many who have served in combat, Elias came home with post-traumatic stress disorder. In December of 2017, Elias died by suicide and left behind Kimberly and four kids. It was a nightmare. Kimberly buried him at Fort Logan National Cemetery in a ceremony with full military honors. Afterwards, she saw Elias's headstone and thought something looked wrong. It read Persian Gulf instead of Operation Iraqi Freedom. She was confused because her husband never served in the Gulf War of 1991. So she called Fort Logan. They had told me that they now put everybody who served in that region in one category. To her, that was unacceptable. It's a total dishonor of service. Like, it doesn't, he doesn't matter. What he did for our country doesn't matter. It caused her so much grief that she didn't think she could ever visit her husband's grave. But then she got a phone call. About two days after the story aired, um, Matthew, who's the uh, Fort Logan's director called and said that he heard I was unhappy with Elias's headstone and then said that he would change it. Now almost five weeks later, Elias has a new headstone. I know some people think it's just a headstone, who cares, but I do. It's all I have left. I'm Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.